I am a farmer right here in the heart of Springfield, Massachusetts, about an eighth of a mile from where we are right now. It's a simple old house, no different from any other in this city of homes, except that you notice there is no yard, but rather a grid of garden beds. And then next to the house, there is an adjacent vac vacant lot that used to be overgrown, and now rows of leeks and potatoes, a blueberry bush patch, peach trees, and grapevine. Enough food growing that we, my husband and three children and I, don't buy any vegetables or fruits year round. And we eat a lot of vegetables and fruits. And actually also grow enough for 10 additional families to eat veggies all summer long. But that's not the whole story. By giving you a little more, it will be, bring me closer to my point. One interesting feature of this Springfield house of ours was that along with the overgrown vacant lot, it had no driveway and no garage. And that was just about perfect for us because we had decided long ago, and this was 15 years ago, to live without a car, to raise our children without a car, to travel by bike primarily, but also by foot or bus. So to add to farmer, I would say I'm a biker, but not the Harley kind, and not the biking for exercise type, and not the mom who puts the bikes on the back of the Subaru wagon to drive to the park to go on the trails for a fun afternoon, but a biker who transports herself and her family by pedaling to work, to appointments, to baseball practices, to grandma's house. Near the house, there is a woodshed. It's piled high with logs for the wood stove that both heats the house and cooks our food. My husband's muscles, and mine too, although not nearly as much, can tell you the story of each of those logs. All their sweet little knots and quirks, because we don't use a chainsaw. We go old school hand sawing with cross-cut saws and chopping logs one log at a time. When we feed that fire in the winter or in the summer to cook, we know each of those logs by name. We are homesteaders here in the city, which is a term to describe a people who try to provide for all their needs directly.